Hey, Hyperspinners, we've got a good one today. I'm going to show you how to set up HyperSearch and then how to set up HyperSearch in your wheel and launch it from your wheel. So uh, get ready. Uh, we're going to go to Hyperspin, as always, and we're going to download uh, the app from the link in the description below. Uh, you can click download this file, but just in case this uh, video ever is uh, out of date, uh, what you're gonna do is just click on the link uh, displayed in the Hyperspin description here, and that's gonna take you to the GitHub. Um, and this, uh, this guy, PyTai, um, did an outstanding job. Uh, it allows you to search on genres, favorites, or just your entire library. It's pretty seamless. Uh, haven't really seen any issues. It is in beta, but you know, for all I care, it's 100%. Uh, I'm sure there's some tweaks, but uh, all you guys are going to do is just download the HyperSearch uh, V2 beta uh, 02.7, and uh, you're going to save it to your desktop. So I've already done this, so I'm going to go ahead and minimize uh, this. And what you guys are going to do next is basically install this on your favorite folder uh, that you guys have been using for your utilities as well as your tools. Uh, again, I've got a tools folder and I've just unzipped uh, HyperSearch in here. Now there is uh, some customization that I've done uh, to make uh, the style or the borders, uh, if you will, um, what you guys have seen before. So I'll post that in the, the mega site. Uh, feel free to use them. Uh, you won't be, need to change any paths or anything. You just drop them in here. Um, and the two files that I'm referring to are the settings uh, JSON file and the styles uh, XAML. So the copies that you uh, see here, well, the copy and then the style one are the original files. And then these are the modified that, um, that I've got here. So you'll also see that there's one file that you guys don't have, and that's the hypersearch underscore call dot XE file. And that is essentially an auto hotkey um, to basically call HyperSearch so you can run it on your wheel. So uh, it's pretty seamless, guys. Uh, sometimes it loses focus, um, but all you have to do is hit Alt-Tab to uh, get back to the uh, uh, HyperSearch window if for whatever reason it loses uh, focus. So yeah, that, that's basically all there is to it. Um, go ahead and click HyperSearch uh, XE. You're gonna notice that it uh, populates uh, hidden uh, in your system tray. Uh, go ahead and double click that and it's going to basically do a rundown of your system uh, you'll see some warnings those are fine um, when you click settings this is how you set it up you're going to set up the path of your hyperspin you'll set up the rocket launcher path that you have um, i i prefer i i do have a cabinet uh, so i, I want to make this as seamless as possible but you know we are searching guys so um, you know uh, typing on a keyboard is much more um, efficient rather than clicking each button with a mouse. Um, so you can you can basically disable this if you'd like. Um, but I, I've got a uh, QWERTY here and the search mode uh, is contained. So I'm finding anything like something that I'm typing in. Uh, next, uh, cab mode. So I am on a cabinet. Uh, but this is basically saying enable input from your physical uh, keyboard will be ignored. Uh, I, I don't want that. So that's uh, disabled and uh, hide mouse cursor. I want to see where things are at because sometimes I might use the cursor and uh, standalone mode. Uh, this is basically saying, do you want to launch this outside of hyperspin? And that's uh, defaulted to yes. And that's basically what we're looking at right now. So it allows you to kind of troubleshoot if need be. Uh, but that's it. I'm going to use the down arrow to get this last bit here. And I'm not really sure. I think this is, yeah, debugging mode. I've never really had to deal with this. Uh, it's pretty seamless, guys. Just set up the paths and uh, you're on your way. So I'm going to hit the right arrow button to get to input. And this button layout, this is, a, since it's a beta version, this isn't actually hashed out yet. If I were to open that, it would just say, you know, this feature is not available. And then it would do a countdown and... Uh, yeah, you'd be back here. Uh, so this uh, next feature here, um, 
goes along with what I was talking about. You can search everything. You can search by favorites and you search by genre. Uh, this is set up uh, in a way where if you want to launch HyperSearch at any time, you can push uh, these specific keys uh, that you're after. But since we're adding it to the wheel itself on Hyperspin, uh, we're just going to open that wheel as if it was any other system. Uh, so you can do either or here, uh, you know, push F3 in my case, or I could open it on the wheel. Um, settings, this is where we're at now. So if I were to push F10, this would show up. And then I'm setting up the up, down, left, right, uh, the action key. So like how to actually uh, specifically search. I'm going to use the return key or one, which is my uh, start. And then back is uh, my zero key. Um, and or B uh, on a controller. And then, yeah, just basic stuff, guys. Uh, minimize, uh, feed, you know, whatever you're trying to set up on your system, you're just gonna map uh, here. I use escape um, just because it's natural to close the, the window. I'm gonna push right uh, arrow to get to miscellaneous. And this is, uh, you know, how, how to make the hyper search uh, shine a little bit. So. If we uh, enable videos, so when you search, you'll see a video preview off to the right. Um, we've got system images, so uh, basically wheel art, um, everything that you're used to making things look good is um, on here. So I just set everything on to on, and uh, that's it. So I'm going to hit escape because I've set it all up, and I'm going to close this down. Just going to make sure that it's all kosher in the system tray. And that's it on the setup. We've unzipped the file in the folder. And now we're going to set up uh, the system wheel. Uh, so just like what you guys have done probably 100 times by now, uh, when we're creating a new system wheel, uh, you're going to hit uh, main menu wizard. And you're going to hit uh, a plus sign. And it's going to take you to a wizard and you'll type in the name of your wheel. Uh, mine's called Hyper Search. So I'm going to scroll down here and here we go. So then you'll run into uh, a screen that looks a lot like this. And what you're going to do is select the execution of normal and you're going to select the path that you chose to install Hyper, uh, hyper Search. And you're going to point it to that hypersearch underscore call exe file that uh, I've provided in the mega site. Uh, also on the command line preview, you're going to basically do the same thing again. You're going to put that hypersearch underscore call exe file uh, location here, and you'll put in quotations. I'm going to move on to wheel, and there's nothing there. Navigation themes, there's going to be nothing there. Video, all that's going to be blank. So I'm going to go ahead and close that because you're done there. It's uh, pretty seamless here. So if you were to add uh, HyperSearch to your main menu, what you'll do is you'll go to Media, you'll go to Main Menu, and uh, here, let's, let's do this. I'm going to go to Main Menu, and the images. So here's my HyperSearch uh, image. All right, guys, uh, sorry about that. Uh, wanted to pause the visit video to basically find my HyperSearch uh, wheel art. It was driving me nuts. Apparently, uh, you know, I, I didn't have this ordered uh, alphabetically. So anyhow, uh, here it is, guys, uh, HyperSearch. Uh, it's the wheel art. Uh, it's in your main menu wheel. Uh, also, you're going to have uh, in your main menu uh, theme. Uh, it's HyperSearch and also a video that's hyper search. Uh, so let's uh, show this thing off. So I'm gonna open up hyper spin here. Let's intro video here. Let's find your all time favorite. Yeah. All. Okay, Hi okay. So launching. I'm going to go ahead and type Mario here. I'm going to search. Atari 2600 so wheel selected. At the top, you can scroll All right. left to right here. Loading wheel. And uh, something Mario, I would have you noticed like to play a Mario Brothers you, uh, USA? 
if you game play again. Uh, frantically, uh, Electro what will happen games selected. you'll get like an error that is uh, an XML. I'm I'm trying to reproduce it. It's hilarious. Loading it's flash games wheel. Here, but, uh, Atari 5200 wheel selected. With your searching here, sometimes you'll run into, yeah, here we go. Right behind there, you can see that it, it says it can't find the XML, but it, it's certainly there and it'll go away uh, after a second or two. Uh, but then you just kind of keep going. So uh, it seems that hyper search uh, doesn't really keep up. All right. Um, if you go Loading wheel. crazy fast uh, when it's trying to load. Uh, so uh, here we go. I'm able to do this pretty good now. Um, you just let it go again. If this ever does lose focus, uh, you can just hit Alt Tab. Uh, even though this looks like it's in focus, sometimes it might not be. So if you were to click down or up again uh, on your controls and it doesn't move, then it just tells you that you've uh, lost focus. So uh, other than that, Good. Uh, this thing works. Uh, Switching to Electro Games Wheel. And, uh, you just launch uh, the game as if it was anything else. Uh, but yeah, that's all there is to it. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and escape here. And I could launch it again. Loading. And here we are. Uh, and that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, I can use my mouse if I wanted to, but um, you know, again, your uh, keyboard uh, is most uh, sufficient here. But outside of that, uh, that is uh, all, right. all I've got to Loading show you wheel. That's Classic a lot to your arcade. system, uh, and uh, have fun, guys. All right, till next time. Bye.